हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम बैक टू माई चैनल टूडे वी आर डूइंग समथिंग वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट दैट इज वी आर डिस्कसिंग दी क्वेश्चन पेपर पैटर्न फॉर द ट्वेंटी थ्री ट्वेंटी फोर बोर्ड एग्जामिनेशन फॉर आई सी सी टेन बायोलॉजी इट इज वेरी क्रूशियल दैट यू नो द पैटर्न ऑफ द क्वेश्चन पेपर सो दैट यू कैन स्कोर कंप्लीट मार्क्स वाई प्रिपरेशन इट सेल्फ यू नो वॉट क्वेश्चन आर एक्सपेक्टेड इट इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट दैट यू अंडरस्टैंड द होल थिंग so please keep watching if you haven't yet subscribe please subscribe to my channel and share with all your friends so that it is very helpful for you as well as your friend okay uh, so coming to the pattern of the question paper it is an 80 mark paper and it it gives you 2 hour to complete it is divided into a part which is 40 mark and b section that is 40 mark again section a 40 mark part is what we should analyze properly and this is a 40 marker which is compulsory that is you don't get any options under this part so what are other questions and how does it come let's see this 40 mark is divided into question 1 which carries 15 marks and this 15 mark this time is having a little bit of twist okay so this 15 mark till last year used to be simple straight forward mcq questions this year it's not like that slightly complex than last year so what is the difference most of the mcqs are simple mcqs but there are few mcq questions included which are stemmed so what is a stemmed or complex mcq is a question is given to you and three options are given and the answer that you have to choose is like so look at this question p q and r are already given and the options a b c d carry only p only q p and q and so on such questions are going to appear for the examination and this was something not there till last year so uh, let's focus on such kind of questions as well you can see one more given here four options are already there only three only one and three only one three and four only one two three and so on another extra guest that we are having in icc pattern is assertion reason question those who are aware of cbse pattern this is a regular question in cbse pattern that is assertion reason question why is this it's so new so let's discuss what this means assertion reason questions are like a statement is given as assertion and a reason is given as reason all right both are two statements first and foremost you have to check whether this statement is correct or not okay so if the statement is correct you put a tick over there and check if the reason is also correct let's do this question that is there is frequent urination in summer than in winter is it a correct statement or wrong you should know the reason given for this statement so first and foremost is it true or false if it is false then you can already pick a is false here right then reason is given in summer we lose a lot of water as sweat so kidneys reabsorb a lot of water hence urine is formed in less quantity during winter is this a reason for that you need to think and then you have to pick options given such questions are called as assertion reason completely newly introduced to the icc pattern it just shows that we are going ahead with competitive based education and competitive based assessments all right that is question number 115 mark mcqs which carries carries most of the simple mcqs some complex mcqs two or three and one assertion reason question next question is for 25 marks which is subdivided as the following that is name the following logical sequence question fill in the blank odd one out and match the following all of it carries five marks and each heading will have five questions each name the following will be five logical sequence will be five and so on uh, only logical sequence and odd one out we'll have a look at other things are self explanatory so what is logical sequence and what is odd one out let's see logical sequence means group of terms are given to you in this case snake grass frog grasshopper are given to you 
and one term is underlined. We have to start with that term which is underlined and arrange all the other terms in a particular sequence. What does grass eat? I mean, who eats grass? And then who, who eats that organism and so on could be the logic of this, right? So, in that order you are supposed to arrange and that is called as logical sequence question. Fill in the blank is self-explanatory, no need for me to explain. Choose odd one out. Five, one, two, three, four terms are given. In this, there is a particular logic by which you have to find any one item which does not belong to the group. We do this from grade 1. So, the same kind of question but in a biological way. So, that is called as odd one out. Pick the odd one out from the four terms. Coming to second part of the question, that is B part. So, I hope it is clear till now. 80 mark is subdivided as section A, 40 compulsory marks, which is again divided into question number 1, 15 mark and question number 2, 25 marks. Again, all these are the details for that. Section B is 40 mark. Here you get some options. Six questions are given to you. You're supposed to write any four. You can write any four in any order. It doesn't matter. You still get marks. There is no logic like the first four will be taken. All the six will be corrected if you are attempting all six. And the best four will be taken. This is the rule for ICC. So, you can uh, write all six if you have the time. Alright. So, coming to the four questions that you have to write. Each of the questions are 10 mark questions. It's not essay 10 mark question kind. This 10 mark is subdivided in this way. 1, 2, 2, 2 and 3 marker. So, you can just have a look at what all are the possible questions that can come for 1 mark. It could be define a particular term, transpiration, expand ATP, uh, write exact location of stomata, write the scientific name of mango. Something like that can be given to you and you are supposed to answer for one mark. Next, two marker question can be any of this. That is, write the difference between this term and that term. Write any one function or two functions. Write two examples of a particular concept. Significance of a particular concept. State the law of inheritance. Um, any Mendel's law can be asked there. Usually their favorite is independent assortment. Uh, what is, again, another term, what is astigmatism. Give one example of a particular concept. Such questions can come for two marks. Three marker, please focus. Three marker question is diagram question wherein some questions in this will be draw a diagram. So, let's quickly go back to the question paper so that we get an idea what I'm talking about. Let's see this one. Question number six. Yeah, so here, yeah, question number three, have a look at question number three, draw neat label diagram of duplicated chromosome, three marks, direct question, diagram, direct draw a diagram question, another is, question number four is again, draw neat label diagram of human gamete that has sex chromosome Y. So, what is that? Sperm you are supposed to draw and so on. That is a direct question. But it may not always be this three marker diagram question. May not always be draw. Instead, a diagram is already given to you and some questions are asked. Such question can also come. Those are called as diagram based questions. So, how many will come? Let us understand. Among the six Given, two will be direct question like draw the diagram. Other four are diagram based. So, diagram based usually can include a lot of plant physiology experiments. Okay. So, if you are not clear with plant physiology experiments, please go through all the videos that I have made for the experiments exclusively and uh, learn them as well. If you have any doubts regarding the question paper pattern, please connect with me through the chat box. And uh, keep watching. Thank you. And if you haven't yet subscribed, please do subscribe to my channel. Thank you.